we're starting off our conversations around the project, which is all of our favorite kind of thing. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Ruth Porter. I'm the finance director for the Thomas Car Group. Tom Hall, town manager. Where is the practice assistant? Rolling Town Council and Communications Committee. Larry Jarkin, I'm on the Board and the Communications Committee. Uh, Sean Bevan, I'm on the Town Council's Finance Committee and Communications. Chris Chiazzo, Town Council, I'm on Finance. Jody Carter, Superintendent of Schools. Jody Shea, I'm Chair of the Finance Committee for the School Board and I'm also on the Communications Committee. Don Healy, School Board. G. Marie Katarina, Town Council, and I'm going to be the Chair of the Leah Caswell, the school board, also on the finance committee. Kate Bolton, business manager for the school department. So, do we, do we have a phone? Harry?
uh, I think the council wanted to separate that by week so there will be a special meeting the following Wednesday, a special single item agenda where the council will consider the budget in the first reading. That's been a fairly consistent concern or complaint for uh, the, the, and sometimes for members of council that they're asked to vote on something you're seeing literally for the first time moments before. So that seems like a, a really good and simple process improvement. So uh, we'll make sure that that happens. Uh, I'll work with Chairman Donovan to make sure that we schedule that meeting. Julie, do you have anything? I, don't know. I guess the, the one area that I thought that for future the agenda is whether we do the budget forum like we've done it over the last three budget cycles. Uh, that was kind of a single night that we all convened to answer any and all questions. And we've got some proposals for other ways to be able to accomplish the same sort of things. Um, so if we can hold that thought, we can maybe loop back to this calendar once we make some of those. Any thoughts, questions, comments? So, um, at what point does this become the final? Mm -hmm. uh, I think last year we tried to set it early on and keep it throughout the whole process, but there were some changes in that meeting as we went along. I think we made uh, our first posting for the public, I think we made in January last year, mid January, and then in February we did a revised one because we had changed a couple of things. Um, so really we can post it as a, once we have some of these other dates that we wanted to, to put on it, right. we could post it pretty quickly and then... We're kind of a month ahead of schedule um, than we were last year. So the only reason why I'm asking is that, um, just to share an observation from the past year, um, and that is the only complaint I received about the schedule was about the validation vote dates and that they fell on school days. That became problematic for many people. Mm -hmm. They're always, aren't they always in line with? Yeah, we align the validation vote with the June primary date, huh? so that's an election that we have to hold anyway, rather than having a, a separate special election for the validation vote. So I don't know a way around that other than not having school that day. So, right, so, so <laughs> which is possible, right? I'm, but I'm just thinking, I'm also thinking through the following months that aren't on here, which if there is a second and third validation vote, to take that, it's just if we take it into consideration, that's not our decision, but I think that that's the only complaint I heard from citizens this past year regarding our schedule. And so are they thinking, what, do they have a solution? Yeah, not, not have school on that day. Just the sheer logistics, the challenges yes. of yes. parking and... I mean, the number of complaints we got regarding traffic and, um, you know, people complaining about, they felt that they were, it was a little dangerous in the parking lot based on people's traffic patterns and behaviors. Validation, or is that the November election? I heard it through. I mean, I think it's if it's relevant on one day, it could be relevant on any of those days. Because the school validation happens here, correct? Right? Well, next year, sure it's a it's a regular year, so we don't have to do it. We have to hold the elections, so we have a lot of uh, costs already and overhead that we can take care of. You know, maybe it's not relevant for June. I just wanted to just put it on the table. Maybe it's more relevant for July and August if something wasn't as successful in June. So I just wanted to put it on the table. That's all. This calendar also reflects, as this group asked, uh, this group can be only twice monthly in the duration. And uh, there's some conversation with get it on the calendar and we may not need them all. Right. Um, so those are the sorts of things that can change. But I think for all of us to put our schedules, it makes sense to be aware of.